the script, the story didn't go through a lot of changes, but we made it uh, from a higher budget to a lower budget. So as a director, I just had to, you know, make some tweaks to the scope. You know what I mean? In my imagination, I want to see the full street that she walks down, but when you're indie, you can't shut down the street. So those kinds of adjustments, uh, you know, by getting the budget down, we were able to have freedom and stay free. and. You know, not have to wait, you know, years and years to make it. You know, to me, Ruby was a woman who was kind of like a, you know, just walking and carrying everything on her shoulders at the same time. You know, she had the pressures of what was going on, but then with her mother, with her sister, everyone had these expectations of her. And for her, she kept everything internal, you know. Um, and as a result, it caused her to make decisions and, and uh, not really go to anyone for advice. You know? And for me, it's very different from how I am. I'm much more demonstrative and extroverted and I might tell you how I really feel you know where maybe, <laughs> maybe sometime when we met yeah I think it was the second yeah the yeah. second audition mm -hmm. when we met uh, was in the room. I'd seen her on tape um, and because uh, she, she wasn't even uh, uh, submitted she wasn't even auditioning for Ruby mm -hmm. she was auditioning for Rosie the sister and so she was on tape and I saw her on tape and uh, Aisha Coley our amazing casting director said she could be a Ruby. So we, I, looked, I watched her on tape and I was like, wow, she's really great. Saw her in the room, put her through the paces, little rigorous acting workouts. <laughs> she did well and that was it.